So here we are as a random mess of arrows and uh, sometimes we're invisible, but it should be fixed as soon as we go into Victory Road again. I actually went and off screen got some new attacks for our Pokemon, which I will show you now. Cross, new and improved with the Fly, Thunder Punch, Extreme Speed, Dragon Claw. These two from the Move Relearner in Fuchsia. And same with Lil Crit, we got the Bullet Punch from the Move Relearner, as well as Pursuit because I actually found out, or you guys helped me figure out, it's got Technician, which of course boosts those low power moves. Uh, Goog, Mare has Toxic Spikes now, and I think Volcanus is all the same. So hopefully with these guys, we can make it through the rest of Victory Road and maybe take on some of the gym leaders today because Oh, it might need all the help we can get to take on the Pokemon League. And now that we're the Rocket Boss, of course we can steal Pokemon from literally any trainer in the game, so... Should definitely go steal from those gym leaders, since they're like the strongest of them all. But, uh, let's try out our newfound powers, our new Dragon Claw move. Sad that we lost Aqua Tail, because it probably would have destroyed this Macargo. Actually, this uh, I'm kind of scared of this Macargo now because it probably has a rock type move. And now that it went for a shell smash, it can probably one shot us with it. But then again, I don't have anybody that resists. Well, I guess I have a little crit, but then he could get hit by a fire move instead. Yeah, we should probably just extreme speed, huh? But I feel like it's might not kill it uh, oh no 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 oh no 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 oh we're alive though we're alive though <laughs> that could have been real bad dude i'm pretty sure macargo would be faster after shell smash so i don't know i mean we would have tanked the rock slide regardless and then gone for whatever we did. Man, we have no grass moves either. How do I... Corsola... Actually, I don't even remember if Corsola is pure water type or rock and water. I guess that answers that. Definitely rock and water. Uh, but yeah, we don't have any grass moves, so... Nothing really to deal with this guy either. Well, if we had electric, it'd be the same thing. So we definitely should have gotten that Ampharos earlier. Still don't have any fighting moves either. I'm, I'm learning a lot of things from this battle, which is good. Uh, are there any electric fighting types? I think that's actually one of the few type combinations that for some reason doesn't exist yet. Even though Electivire should 100% be an electric fighting. Like you guys agree, right? Electivire is out of all the Pokemon that currently exist, the one that definitely fits the most for it. Oh my god, we flinched! Come on! And now we're getting dizzy punched? Oh, come on! Lucky duckies? We're not on my side before. And apparently they're still... Not about it. Uh... I guess I'll bring out Lil Crit. Who's also... Oh, not gonna get confused. You know what? Let's see how this new bullet punch is. Let's see the strength behind it. Oh, really? I know Miltank is tanky, but still, dude. Come on. Whatever, dude. Oh, Zero Aura is a good candidate, too. With the Plasma Fist. I mean, both Electivire and Zero Aura have, like, pretty big fists. So I feel like either would fit as Electric Fighting, but we ain't got one. So. Maybe one day. Gen 9. Uh, we got a guard up next. I guess I'll put Goog up ahead. Oh my god. Is that what you're guarding, bro? Lance may no longer be champion, but it's still my job to guard these Pokemon from people like you. I can see you're a formidable one, but your authority in the rocket world means nothing to me. I can throw you in jail, no problem. Yeah, just try, buddy. Why is he gatekeeping the Moltres? That's so dumb. I mean, I probably wouldn't use Moltres. Nah, you know what? I, I probably would. 
Use Moltres. <laughs> I'm not trying to lose at this point. I'll use any Pokemon that'll get me to win the Pokemon League. But still, why is he cock blocking? Like, come on. It's not very nice. What do we got? Sandstorm. Dude, all the TMs in this game suck. Why? I don't get it. The only good one we've gotten is the Dragon Claw last episode. That we taught to Dragonite. Uh, honestly, I don't even feel like fighting any more of these guys than we have to. So we're going to skip that dude. Oh, God, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? He's going to have mirror move or counter. I just know it. Let's test it. That's true. That's a good strat. Let's. We got no other choice. <laughs> We're losing cross, baby. Oh, God. There it is. There it is. God damn. God. Why? Why? <laughs> I want to be more upset. But we literally couldn't do anything about that. You're going to be the second why. Except your name will be just Y. Man. Man. Yeah, we should have used Fly probably. But I think still we would have just died after it used Counter probably. We lost our best Pokemon. I spent like the last hour Stacking him with good moves. Just for him to die to a Wobbuffet, dude. I hate this game. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> I bet this item's not even worth it either. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm so done with this. I... Oh, wait, we can get a Pupitar from this guy. Hell yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not Doom just yet. We lost Tyranitar. I mean, Dragonite, but we get Tyranitar. This is going to be the man. And it's a max for... Bro, we literally can't even use that. Because we're playing a freaking Nuzlocke. <laughs> a few moments later. You should be proud of yourself having battled your way through Victory Road so courageously. In recognition of your feat, I'll teach you double edge. I bet Dragonite's the only one that can learn it. Oh! They can all learn it, apparently. I don't want it, though. Maybe later on, but for now, we're off to the Pokemon League! I really hope there's no rivals to fight. Because I just really want to get to that PC and then grab Pupitar, train it up a little bit. Uh, there was actually a couple of trainers that we skipped. Oh, thank goodness, dude. No surprises. Oh, quite a lot of surprises. That's how quickly the region can be taken over by an 11 year old. I suppose no one anticipated this in the constant. Okay. I am now adapting my training style after red and blue. I was wrong to study Bruno. <laughs> You look special. Oh, wait, is this Ronnie? Hey, don't you recognize me? Stupid old dingbat, it's me! Ronnie! Hell yeah! Ronnie! My dude! It's been tough since Team Rocket uh, being a solo gangster and all. I've robbed a couple youngsters and schoolgirls, but it's just not the same. Well, but look at you, Mr. Posh. I suppose the hair gel comes with the promotion. <laughs> I always thought you were a little camp, but this takes the cake. <laughs> anyway, you trying to join back up? I mean, I am the boss now. Could offer you your job back, bro. Have you heard the news? Lance is done for. And guess what? Someone's just gone in to challenge the new Elite Four. Oh, but he is the best part. Guess who the new champion is? Here, just wait. It's going to be on TV any second now.
It's a historic day for Kanto Johto, ladies and gentlemen. Champion Lance has been defeated in Pokemon League Battle by a young challenger from Pallet Town. We spoke to the region's remarkable new adolescent champion shortly after his victory. Oh snap, it's blue? I thought it was red this whole time. Hey everyone, nice to meet ya. I'm Blue from Pallet Town, and I'm the Pokemon champ. I'm the strongest trainer in Kanto, and Johto too. The best there is, that's me. So this is before Red came up and challenged him, I guess. It's been my dream for a long time, and it's taken a lot of work, but now I'm finally here. Am I great or what? What are some of the changes we can expect under your new government? You think a kid cares about government, bro? We got work to do. Uh, let everyone ride bikes indoors. Yeah, I think that'd be a great change. I'm down for it. Can we expect the unilateral trade agreement with the Ho Hoenn? Uh, yeah, sure. Look, we'll figure that out. Nobody's got to worry. Now that I'm champion, there's going to be nothing but peace and happiness. Until Red Waltz is in, you mean. Blue, sir. There are rumors that another trader from your hometown has defeated the Kanto gym leaders and intends to challenge you. Can you comment on this? Oh, he's pissed. I know that stupid stinker. He's got no chance. So let him come. I'll wipe the floor with that loser and we'll forget all about him. Just you wait and see. Anyway, folks, you're too kind, but duty calls. Being champ is hard work. Smell you later. Yeah, sure is a lot of hard work sitting on your ass on that throne. Exciting changes in store for the region. Champion Blue's new Elite Four have since made preparations to meet the mysterious challenger. We'll bring you more news as it comes. But is this canon though? I mean, considering they said Red is actually a Clode, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> that spiky haired little twerp, what a gas! That is pretty gas. That blue is champ. Oh! Or should I say oak? I don't believe it! Blue. It's not possible. Why is it so quiet in here? Guard, let me through. I'm the new champion's grandfather and I demand to see him. This is an urgent matter. Okay. Well, that was quite a holy mill tank. Yeah, I do have a mill tank. How did this guy know, though? I was about to replace it, though. Uh, probably gonna grab both of these to man and Tori, the double T's. Jinx is 46. 48 is definitely better. Uh, why is this a thing? It's probably only got counter and mirror move, doesn't it? Oh, and destiny bond, of course. That's literally all Wobbuffet can do. I just, I don't understand, dude. Why did you have to do it like that? Why, Cross? Like out of all the Pokemon we could have lost, why did it have to be Cross? Uh, whatever. Let's grab these two fools and go train up a little bit more. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to get Pupitar to level 50 or high enough to evolve at least. I don't know what level Pupitar actually evolves at, but I do know we've got some rare candy, so might as well use those, right? Let's see. Literally just two. Okay, well, maybe with just one it can evolve. Oh, come on. It really doesn't evolve until 55? Well, time to train, I guess. Oh, man. And I still don't have anything grass either, so... The most we can do is just X Scissor Quagsire. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can get the poison off on it. That's that's that was the strategy against Corsola. I'm I'm a, am I a genius or what? Oh my god, never nope. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. So, uh, horse is dead again. You know that old saying? Not to beat a dead horse or whatever? Well. Tori's probably dead too, huh? Now, I think Tori can take an earthquake. Okay. Okay. Mayor takes it out from the grave with the poison tick. And we've still got Slow King. Gosh dang it, dude. Why? You still have more Pokemon. If Lil Crit was full HP, I would be more... Let's just go for Goog. When in doubt, go for Goog. It can live through... No, not a nasty plot. Oh, no, 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 no. And we miss... Oh, wait. It can't even get... Confused, apparently. This is not good, dude. If this guy has Ice Beam, we're about to get one shot. Because of those nasty plots. Thankfully, it's just Psychic. But still, we might get... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Volcanus. You gotta clutch this. I don't know how... But the, somehow, this thing's probably got a water move, doesn't it? This thing definitely has a water move, doesn't it? And we don't have Mirror Alive anymore. I mean, at least we're faster. But I don't think we're going to one-shot it. No! <gasps> no! Okay, actually, I think we still got this because we're faster, right? So as long as we do half hell. Okay. 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 Volcanus. <laughs> Volcanus with the clutch. Oh my god. Yes. What the frick was the last Pokemon? I didn't even read, bro. No. I'm just keeping Volcanus in. I'm praying. Oh, come on. Come on. Wait. Ah, oh, he's... We gotta pray that Goog can live. Whatever it goes for right now. This is the only way. I think it's gonna go Aqua Jet. I think it's probably going to Aqua Jet. Oh, okay. I don't mind that. Now we can just heal. And hopefully not... Oh, this is going to hurt though. Oh, never mind. What the frick? I didn't... What? I thought that was going to like destroy us because... The rain and the huge power. But apparently we're fine. Watch out for Ice Beam, this man says. Uh, yeah, that could be a thing. But apparently it doesn't have it. So I think we're okay. Oh, he's got thick fat. Oh yeah, we we literally traced the thick fat. Duh. Thank goodness. No huge power, dude. And we get the freeze too. Okay. It's a wrap. Why did these last two battles have to be so freaking stressful? Like we literally came here to trade. And instead we ended up losing another freaking Pokemon which I don't think I updated the death count did I we're at 26 now believe it <laughs> oh well that is a replacement water type do we go for the oh lantern yo that'd be perfect we've been needing an electric type we just lost our water type it's lantern time! It's Lord Aqua, dude. I, I like that, actually. It's like Lord Aqua. You gotta put the little hesitation there. Um, I think... Oh, wait. This guy we still haven't fought either, huh? But I don't know if we should, considering the HP on our team right now. we can do this. He's only got two Pokemon, too. 
But of course, it's Power Gem. It's always Power Gem with these freaking Persians. Thankfully, it's not like it doesn't have stab from it. So it's nothing too crazy, but still, dude. Why? Why do I have to? Oh my god, and a, a gold duck. Eh, maybe Tori can do something. Let's see. Psychic. Maybe it goes for its own psychic move, huh? Oh, Encore, you say? What the frick? Wait, what just happened? We just magic bounce its Encore, but it still hit us? I don't know how the frick that works, but... Sure. We did it. And I'll take a Persian. So Lord Aqua has got Water Gun. And that's it. Okay, so we definitely need that Thunderbolt then. And I guess Surf would be good enough as a water move. Maybe it can also learn Ice Beam, but it would probably be better on Espeon if it can learn it at least. Uh, which I guess we can check right now. Does it got the Psychic? No, it doesn't. It's got Stored Power. Calm Mind Stored Power is a good combo, but not really reliable. How have you not learned Psychic yet? Like, what? I guess it's at a higher level? And then Taman has Rock Slide and Iron Head, actually. That might be good. Depends on what he's got right now. Literally no Rock moves. Great. I'll definitely give it the Rock Slide then. Oh, wait. Espeon already has Psychic. Oh. Well, never mind. Oh, we should also get Flamethrower, though. For Volcanus, right? Oh yeah, we should definitely get it Flamethrower. Which means... It's time! <laughs> you gotta save the game! <laughs> we will be back after these short messages. Oh man, hard work pays off. You love to see the blood, sweat, and tears. And happily, don't you? Look at that, guys. Taman is evolving. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Team Rocket Trading! Oh my god, I've been exposed! Cut, cut the video! That nobody wants to challenge my gym anymore. If they can't get that coveted HM to surf, they see no reason. Preposterous! I can hardly defend a gym when it has no cause for... Bruh. I thought we were actually going to have to fight Koga. And maybe we do get to fight him. But we got to do a whole side quest? As Master of Concealment and Disguise, I have tricks up my sleeve. So do I, buddy. So do I. Oh, apparently it ain't worth it. We'll, we'll do it later on. Not right now. I, I wanted to fight the gym leaders. I thought you could. And I think you can, but just not Koga, because in the Pokemon manga, I'm pretty sure Koga is actually one of the bad guys. Like, he, he actually works with Team Rocket. So let's try someone like uh, Brock, let's say. He is definitely not one of the bad guys, as far as I know. Lieutenant Surge is another one of the ones, like, in cahoots with Team Rocket. And obviously Blaine, we saw, was involved in the creation of Mewtwo. But Brock, he's a goody two-shoes. Except we can't... Oh, come on, dude. I can't even sneak past him? Are you kidding me? Dude! <laughs> I thought we could fight the gym leaders. What? I guess it might be post-game? I'm so confused. I'm I'm pretty sure you can fight some of the gym leaders. Lemon? Oh no, I stepped too close to the sun, didn't I? Oh wait, it's it's just Bill. I came as soon as I could. Damn it! I try to outrun that geezer oak, but I'm afraid I might have been too late. The clock is ticking now. We have to stop this. Stop what? The the basement? I know about the kid, I know everything! Oh, 
He's got his badges and he's heading off to fight the Elite Four. Well, we both know he's going to have no trouble with him. But what about me though? Have you thought about how strong I am? We'll be fine, Bill. You're stressing for nothing. The only part of this I can't seem to wrap my head around is... Who the hell is blue? <laughs> what? Hey, gym guy. What's the name of the challenger who came in earlier? Some kid red. Can't mistake him. Oh, God. He's already in there. It's too late. Red is going to be the champ. Blue is the fourth Elite Four. That's going to be my guess. Because we already fought Lance. So there's no way Lance is part of the Elite Four, right? But I was trying to get to this guy. Who will now sell us items, thankfully. Uh, but it's only max potions. I don't know. I feel like it still might be better to go buy the healing items from Team Rocket. How many of them do I even have right now? Literally one. Okay, yeah, we definitely need more items. <laughs> Good thing I checked. So look, just this once, leave it to me, Lemon, for old time's sake. Eradicate? Eradicate? On alert, you lazy rat. We've got work to do. This game's actually got good writing, so I couldn't quite predict it. It was too obvious. Radicate, give us a hyperfang. <laughs> Why is he treating it like a cheerleader? Oh my god. <laughs> well, that works. Don't worry, Lemon. Me and Radicate will stand guard here and keep noisy people out. Or nosy, I mean. You go do what you gotta do. <laughs> that lady's just dead in the corner. We've come a long way, haven't we? You go handle what you need to. I've got your back. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, just, I can't handle this lady just passed out in the corner. <laughs> well, uh, this is it. I don't know what's going to happen when we go through those doors, but I think it's safe to say you might face some of the toughest battles of your life. So, make sure you're ready. Oh, we are more than ready, dude. That was some tough training. I would strongly urge you to bring Missing No as well. You're going to need it. I, I wasn't planning on leaving it. Trust me. It's time, Bill. I've said my prayers. I'm about to do mine. Oh, Arceus, that art thou it. I, I don't. Um, let's go. <laughs> Lorelei is up first. I'm pretty sure we can also steal these people's Pokemon. But considering we've got a full team, I don't think it matters anyway. Who are you then? First Oak, then Bill? Now this swanky fella looks like he might be Giovanni's nephew. This is a big happy reunion, finally. Well, what fitting timing. After all these years, looks like to me that Kanto's about to radically change. That child, he's some to be reckoned with. I was prepared for a challenge, not a one-sided slaughter. Cold and calculated, not a sign of emotion. Can't imagine the others will fare any better than him. Well, what are you gawking at? Run along. I'm not going to humor you with any tricks. Now my Pokemon are knocked out. What? Oh, oh, we don't, we don't even have to fight Lorelai. Well, <laughs> that, that's good. I mean, I probably shouldn't have been leading off with Taman anyway. Does that mean we don't even have to fight Bruno either? Seems red, round her up real quick. Not surprising. Onwards, yeah, let's go. <laughs> No Elite Four will stand in our way. This is crazy, my friend. The powerful children. Where do they come from? That child with spiky hair. I thought I had chance. Not so with the one called Red. Total destruction. I admire his power and discipline, but I sense there is something not right about him. Ah, nonsense. I must train harder. Get harder! Wow, that's that's really it. 
No fighting Bruno either, dude. Let's go. This is easy peasy. We meet again, Lemon. Much has happened, it seems. I was filled with pride when Blue defeated me and took his rightful place as champion. Pride that there was something worth preserving in my blood after all. But Red, he seems a different beast altogether. I'd never paid much attention to that child, but it's clear I made a mistake. I could understand now why Samuel held him in such high regard all these years. To tell you the truth, I don't quite know what brought it out of these kids. Well, you're looking for Samuel, ain't ya? I'll say, when he walked past me just now, it was strange. He was ice cold, didn't say a word, but there was a glint in his eye. That cultivated, brown-nosing politeness had all but disappeared. There was something in him like the way he used to be in the old days. Damn, Agatha's just reminiscing. Uh, I don't want to think about that, actually. Come on. Let's, let's, let's move along now. You've been warned. Next would normally be Lance's room, but I'm pretty sure he's gone too. So who's actually going to be our next challenger? My bet was on blue, but we haven't fought any Elite Four yet, so it could be that we just go straight to... What the frick are you doing here, dude? Gah! You again! I won't stand for this meddling. As if seeing that worm of a professor again wasn't enough, now we're invaded by genuine terrorists. If my Pokemon had any health, I'd teach you a lesson! Yeah, because that definitely worked out last time, didn't it? We're still, uh, or were I still champion, I'd have, you... <sighs> okay! Don't mess with Lance, got it. Look at me. What in Giratina's name happened? I don't know how I could have prepared for these super kids. I suppose... What difference does it make in the end? If you're defeated by Child X or Child Y... At what point is your dignity so crushed that you just stop caring? Go on then. Lord knows you people aren't my response. You people? Oh, that's it. Lance just crossed the line, bro. It's time. They've all been beaten. Damn it, Lemon. You know what that means. We gotta fight Red, don't we? Red! My clone child! Yes, 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 oh, you've won! You're the new champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander to work on the decks. You've come of age, Red. Blue, I am disappointed in you. Dude, why is Oak such a savage to his own grandson? I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four. But when I got here, you had already lost. Do you understand why you lost? You've forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become champ again! We gotta kill this guy. Like, this old man has outlived his usefulness. Like... Okay, I was about to say something really messed up, but still. Professor Oak has gotta go. <laughs> Do we really have to fight Blue, though? I don't think so. I mean, we're buddies, right? Since the Pokemon Tower, we like helped him out with his dead Raticate or whatever. Grandpa, I treated my Pokemon with respect, always. Gave him the rest and love they needed. I did. I swear I did everything right. I was so sure of it. I thought when I was finally champion that you would at least stop and say you were proud. Damn. Well, it's okay, Blue. I'm proud of you. Forget about Grandpa, dude. It's a stupid boomer anyway. You know, you don't gotta listen to those old farts. You know, listen to someone your own age. They're maybe a little older. I got the real knowledge you need. The crowds will arrive any minute. I was really hoping we could solve this in private. 
Oh, damn. It's about to be a show match in here, isn't it? We're just going to have to fall back to another solution. Like... Ladies and gentlemen, Champion Blue has been defeated. It's my honor to announce that the new champion of Kanto Johto is... Red from Pallet Town. Please stand by for further comments by the new champion. This game is so twisted. Literally, like the way it twisted the story. So now Blue is apparently was supposed to be the good guy the whole time. And Red is actually the sociopath. Damn. Oh. I thought it was actually going to go to credits and there was no final fight. <laughs> that would have been pretty uh, anticlimactic. You can barely believe our eyes, viewers. No sooner have we received a new champion than the title changes hands yet again. This extraordinary new young champ has just finished his Hall of Fame ceremony and will return to give his speech. No more speeches, man. Come on. Final battle time. My voice can't handle it anymore. Red. Thankfully, Red doesn't actually talk very much, so... There shouldn't really be a final speech. Uh, unless... Oak gives it for him. How good it is to see you, people of Kanto. This is Professor Samuel Oak. I stand before you with the new champion. A uniquely talented young boy whom I've had the privilege to raise as my own. Dude. That's gotta hurt. Right in front of Blue. Yes. Marvelous, marvelous. Now then. I know some of you remember the last time I stood in this room and have mixed feelings about seeing me a year again. But rest assured, I address you now as Red's caretaker, not former champion. Moreover, I'm embarrassed to bring this matter to public attention this way, but since it concerns our new champion, I see no real alternative. <clears throat> You've all witnessed Red's unmatched talents for Pokemon Battle. I'm sorry to say that this unique gift of his has come at a price. Red unfortunately suffers from certain social disabilities. He cannot speak in public without pangs of terror, and he struggles to communicate with the outside world. Where the frick is any of this coming from? Okay. Okay. So Red's just the puppet, and Oak really is in charge. Yes. Very well, then let's begin. It's clear to me and Red as well, of course, that some changes are in order for the region of Bro. Can I, like, challenge for the title of champion before you go on your whole little tyrannical speech here? Oh my gosh, okay, I need some water for this. <laughs> it's time to kick Oak's ass. I'm not about to read this whole speech, okay? You can pause the video if you want. I'll, I'll go through it slowly so you can read it yourself. Cause I'm just, I'm just trying to get to this battle, dude. What else? There's really more? Tell me, how can we allow our legendary birds to roam freely? What of the various legendary beasts rumored to be hiding? What? This man's trying to have control over all the, dude, he's really like trying to start a dictatorship. <laughs> Capture all the legendaries and be like the ultimate power. For public safety, yeah, sure. Yes, dear Cantonians, Lance has done us a great disservice. There's no question. So I believe, only because I agree with Red's reasoning, uh, yeah, sure. The kid that's apparently mute, but somehow you know exactly what he's thinking. Nothing but the strictest punishment is in order. Lance should be brought in at what? Bro, he's right there. Do you agree with these motions, Red? Yes. Stop! 
in the name of God. The true hero we needed! Bald as Blaine! Everyone listen, Red cannot be champion! He's no real Pokemon trainer! He's not even a human being! Just some creature, some lab experiment, created by Oak to do his bidding! You really think anyone would believe that? Like, you gotta have picks or something. We have proof! Irrefutable proof! Oh shit! <laughs> Time to run away! Look, you'll trigger the poor boy's anxiety with such aggressive, baseless accusations! I dare say he's been through enough emotional stress for one day! <laughs> Cut the crap, oh, come on, dude! He's gonna need a safe space to retreat for the moment. Apologies, but we will hear more from Champion Red later. Man's got caught. Pants down. 4K. RTX on. <laughs> Let us into the Hall of Fame. Hear, hear. Uh oh. Oh. Samuel, is it true? That's what it was all these years. Not cowardice, but cunning. How could I have failed to see? The canto we wanted, we could have it again. Hold it. You're not going anywhere, you puny peasants. Oh, snap. Agatha's back. Backing up Oak, I mean... He will create the perfect Kanto, a place for the strong to prosper. Don't you understand? No, I, I really don't. If you want to get in between, you get through me first. Oh. What? That's not fair, dude. Those aren't even Pokemon. Just straight up ghosts. Get out. Oh. I literally can't move. No! G -g 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 ghost! <laughs> oh, the self scope! Of course! Help us! Please use it! No, Lemon! Alright, I got you! Self scope! Activate! Do I really have to. Oh, okay. Hey! Turns out they are actually Pokemon. That's weird though, because like in the Pokemon anime and movies, you don't need the self scope at all. Like you, you can just tell when it's a Gengar. Or it looks like a Gengar. It, I don't know. Kind of weird, but. Um, I think if we're going to fight Agatha, we're, we should probably lead with Taman instead. Since it's dark type and it's got that earthquake to deal with Gengar. Lemon. I had a feeling you'd step forward. There's nothing more to be said. I've given you fair warning. You saw as well as I that Red is the rightful champ. There'll be none of these coops and conspiracies here. I'll guard the door on my honor. I was not ready for this dude. Like, ah. Oh. My brain, uh, I don't think I can handle much more of this, so we'll at least fight Agatha at level 49. And you guys want me to go all the way to 55 for all of our Pokemon? I mean, yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> Tyranitar is literally all... Well, I mean, we still got Crunch at least. <laughs> it's weird because I know Gengar doesn't always have Levitate, but obviously this one did. So, uh, but oh, what was that? You heard nothing. I think Haunter's coming up next. Or not. It's our buck. But as you just saw, we got the Earthquake, so we'll be fine. 
Ah, okay, I got you. This old hag is simping for Oak SMH. <laughs> simping for Oak since 1904. However old Agatha is at this point, I don't know. But she's literally been simping since day one, bro. And she's still out here putting her life on the line for her mans. Dude, we literally just needed Tyranitar. Like, <laughs> all of her Pokemon seem to be weak to it. But, uh, yeah, you guys are saying that in Gen 3, Gengar always has Levitate, which definitely makes sense. I thought it had another ability, but I guess that didn't happen until later on. Where do we get a Sandstorm from? That's not... Tyranitar's ability, right? Or is it actually Sandstream? It would have to be, because there's no other way that the Sandstorm would have popped up out of nowhere. Actually, speaking of Sandstorm, it might just... Nope. Okay. Time to heal! And thankfully, we stocked up on those good old herbs. Oh, no. I have no idea about Eddie, Eddie, like, what even is this game? The sandstorm rages on. The heart of the cards will get us through this. Yes, to man, believe. Oh, he's done it. I'm losing it. I'm sure you guys can't tell, right? I'm fine. I'm fine, all right? We've got this. Tough man. Hit him. How long does this sandstorm last, bro? I thought it was five turns, but it feels like it's been here the whole battle so far. I mean, I shouldn't complain. It's helped us out a little bit with that extra chip damage. It really lasts forever. Jeez, that's... Pretty crazy. See, I thought Tyranitar had the same ability as Garchomp, where like it doubles your speed or stats or whatever in the Sandstorm, but I guess it just summons the Sandstorm forever, which definitely helped us take down Agatha at least. So. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. But we can't take Gengar because we had one before. Actually, the only Pokemon we haven't stolen yet is Mistrevis. The worst one of the bunch. Nice. Well, I guess I could have took Crobat. Very well. Just know Samuel won't take kindly to your interference. If his old self really has returned... There's nothing he wouldn't do to keep his enemies like you away.